All right, here's the uh, motorcycle gear shift circuit. I got it in neutral right now. We'll shift it down from zero. Should go to first gear, right? First gear up should go right past neutral to second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Back down. And then if you're downshifting and the neutral light comes on, let's just say it happens from gear three, it goes right to zero. And then if you upshift from neutral, it goes to two, three. Um, let's say you're in neutral and it downshifts out of neutral, it'd be first. Works. And then let's say you're in fifth gear and shut your bike off. And you come back, turn it on, self-check, and it shows you gear 5 again. Uh, that's an EEPROM function. Um, I suppose you could, you could always mess that up manually if you had the bike off and, you know, you shifted. But you can always get it back where it needs to go just by downshifting all the way. You can downshift, shift, 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 all the way to first. Upshift to neutral. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. That's it. Okay, so the way I got this wired up, I got the neutral light input, which is a active low input, uh, just as a button here. So I can kind of manually do that. Normally the the gear train would signal the bike when uh, it's in neutral. And then usually it lights a bulb um, that could be wired up pretty easily here, but I didn't do that. Um, some Hall Effect switches for the uh, upshift, downshift, and then of course there's going to be a magnet on the shifter itself. Um, and the correct pole has to face these switches. I don't know which pole it is, north or south, but it doesn't work when it's the other pole. Um, I've got a uh, AT Tiny 44 microcontroller here, and I made a little kind of interesting uh, programming socket for it. So now I can just plug in my USB uh, tiny programmer and get it done, get it programmed. Uh, this is a uh, 74LS47 BCD to 7 segment display converter chip. Um, unfortunately it can only drive active, um, active low outputs so that means your 7 segment has to be a common anode or a common high side um, so that it can pull low on all of the discrete segments. That's unfortunate because most of my um, most of my seven segments that I have are common cathode so you just drive each segment high. Um, I'm planning on basically just getting rid of this chip and wiring everything up directly to port A of the ATtiny44 because there's there's uh, eight bits there on port A, and I'm not using. You can see I'm not using uh, two here, and then there's another two on the other side. So I'm only using the lower four bits of the uh, port A. So all I need is three more bits, and I've got a whole seven segment, and I can drive it directly because the uh, AT Tiny can source plenty of current um, out of its pins there. It's certainly enough for a seven segment. So okay, here's the new circuit. We've got uh, basically the AT Tiny 44A driving the seven segment display directly. Uh, it's a common cathode seven segment, and we got the same neutral upshift, downshift uh, inputs. All right, that's a self check. Still does zero through. 9 and then 0 again, but in this case, since we're driving the 7 segment display directly, we don't have to say 0 for neutral. We can say N for neutral, which is pretty sweet. So let's go up through the gears here. 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, if you notice, if I hold the magnet there, it's not cycling through 4, 5, 6, you know. 
five four three two one I have to actually pull the magnet away and uh, it's debounced and it locks itself so it's looking to see if the inputs held low or not I think that will definitely help um, keep the gears from switching too quickly I don't think you can actually move the gear shift lever quicker than that anyways and then uh, as you're shifting if you basically enter neutral it'll go right to neutral or if the neutral switch turns on so essentially if you get it in neutral and you're shifting the switch comes on I don't know if that's actually practical or if we need to make it so that the uh, if the neutral line ever goes low it goes right into neutral because you can't just be in a gear and press this and it go into neutral so I'm not sure if there's a weird state where as you're shifting you can kinda um, you actually won't maybe register a hall effect because you didn't pull the gear shift lever all the way up to get it into neutral so you just kinda pop it from the center up a little bit and maybe it doesn't register but the neutral light does come on so I guess that's a question um, hopefully we'll get an answer but I like this big display not that practical for a real motorcycle but great for a video alright that's all for now just a quick note I upgraded my programmer from uh, your standard SparkFun ISP to the AVR Dragon uh, this is going to be a lot more flexible um, I can use AVR Studio directly without any weird COM port configurations and uh, if I lock my parts I can use the high voltage programming to unlock them. I right, just wanted to show you a little bit about the code here. Uh, it's very easy to set the top gear uh, if you've got four or five, six gears, whatever you want to do. The um, fuses are set in the code there's a nice website here for calculating your fuses uh, at a command prompt you can run this command and you'll get this output here which basically will tell you what your fuses are uh, essentially low high and extended and then here's how we're setting it up uh, a couple defaults and then basically just setting the internal oscillator uh, to run and uh, that's about it uh, let's see what else we can show you here in the code the um, seven segment display is actually set up for common cathode mode currently uh, but there is an alternative common anode mode already defined so all you need to do is comment one out and uncomment the other one um, and also if you don't like the neutral you can uncomment the zero and comment out the neutral and you'll get zero instead of neutral um, self-test, couple routines, and uh, that's it.